solve 5t squared equals 125. Well, our first step is to make sure that we have 0 on one side. So I'll go ahead and subtract 125 from both sides, giving me 5t squared minus 125 equals 0. This is only the case when we have polynomials. Now I'm going to factor this so I can use the zero product property. So since they both have a 5 in common, I'll go ahead and factor out my 5, leaving me with t squared minus 25, which equals 0 still. Now I have a difference of squares, which must factor to be conjugates. I'll have t squared will be t times t, and 25 will be 5 times 5. Now notice that even though I have three factors, I should only have two answers, because when I set the first factor equal to 0, we can see that there's no variable, and 5 is not equal to 0. Therefore, there's no solution in that first factor. The second factor, t plus 5 is 0, and then I need to set the third, t minus 5 is 0. So if I solve this first one, I get t is negative 5, and adding 5 to both sides on the second one, I get t is positive 5. So my two solutions then would be negative 5 and positive 5.